I'm Creatively Fit Coach Larissa Davis, and I'm going to be sharing with you the start of my process for creating an earth element painting. So this was my absolutely hands down favorite element in the Vision Quest process, and it was really, really wonderful to revisit it, and I'm excited to share with you the insights that I received through doing the earth element painting for the second time. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. So I'm starting out here with the symbol for the root chakra because that is associated with the earth element. Also the color red, which is associated with the root chakra, uh, was very important for me to incorporate into this layer. Uh, this earth painting is linked to my first earth painting which was very tied to some dreams that I had when I was going through Vision Quest for the first time. And the symbols that came up for me during the first Vision Quest came back to me in dreams just a few days before I started on this painting. In this dream that I had, I was preparing my mother's body for burial. So I was lovingly washing her hands, but her hands were no longer connected to her body. What I'm doing here is writing all of the things that I associated with being female previously. These are the old ideas, the old mother. Things that I learned from observing as a child. Things that I was taught by my family, by what I saw, by society. The symbolism of the hands not being attached to my mother's body really represents the disconnection of my feminine power. Being disconnected from your source, from your soul, from your passion, you are unable to fully engage in life to fully express yourself. Not only do you maybe not have a voice, but your, your hands, which are the symbols of your ability to creatively engage and express and make things and reach out and touch people, feel, connect, are cut off. So here, by writing all these things that are, are representative of my old mother, the old beliefs about what it meant to be a woman, to be female, I'm laying them to rest here in the earth. And they will become the fertilizer for the new feminine to rise. Then I started writing at the top of the canvas the new feminine, the new mother that I was calling in, I am calling in, the female that is rising in me, the new understanding of what it means to be a woman. And you can see on the left, I wrote, she gets her hands dirty. And this was really an important element for me because of those disconnected hands before, it's about being connected and really getting your getting the dirt under your nails. And now it's time for the third prompt, which is to add love, to water your uh, your intention in this canvas, this manifestation, what you're calling in, to water it with love, just like you would water a seed that you've planted in the soil. So I've started to add some hearts. Um, I'm adding these in green, sort of sticking with the theme of the chakras. The green is the heart chakra. And I'm also adding the symbol for the heart chakra. And the reason that I am putting this bird, which is a bald eagle, on this canvas is related to the first earth painting that I did and then seeing a bald eagle the day before I painted this. 
So in the first earth painting that I created, I had three dreams all featuring my mother. And in the last dream about my mother, she was given four baby eaglets. So fast forward to now and the dream that I had about laying my mother to rest. And then a couple days after having that dream, I was driving down the road and I saw this giant bald eagle soaring overhead very slowly, just coasting on the, on the, uh, the updrafts. And I went, oh, I remember that dream that I had with the baby eaglets in it. Isn't that amazing that I'm now seeing a full grown bald eagle flying overhead right at this time when I've had this dream about laying my mother to rest, the, letting the old mother pass away so that the new mother can be born. This is the first earth painting that I did. And you can see here, as we scroll down that in the lower right hand corner is the baby bald eagle. And here she is, full grown, fierce, passionate, powerful, beautiful. And I thought it was important also to add the hand in here because the hand was such a powerful, powerful symbol from this most recent dream with my mother. This painting is still in progress, of course, so if you want to see how it turns out, you'll just have to hop over to my website and take a look. Thanks for joining me. It's been really wonderful to share this story with you. And now it's your turn. Get to your canvas, grab your brush, and start painting.